Hey Tubers! Welcome back for another adventure. And I'm going to call this adventure my Plastic Shed Nightmare. I don't know if you guys recall, there was a wooden shed sitting there that was built 20 years ago. When I went to night shift, still had kids at home, so occasionally it was hard to sleep. So I built this shed as kind of a little honeycomb hideout, someplace I could go to take a nap, right? Uh, it had a small door window that was covered, air conditioner, heat, electricity. It was all set up, so basically I had a little, little place to go to get some sleep. The, kit, the shed became a garden shed, um, mostly for my wife. You can see the planters and so forth in here. But as time passed, it became infested with mice and spiders and snakes. Oh my. Anyway, next came, um, my wife wanted it replaced, and she bought this plastic uh, garden shed. And uh, supposedly it was easy to build, and here it is. Unfortunately, this thing became somewhat of a nightmare. So this plastic shed shows up in three boxes, and it seemed to be easy enough. First thing was the floor, right? Um, the floor seems to work pretty good as long as you put it on a perfectly plat flat platform. And notice I used the word platform. From there, you have the corners, one, two, three, and four, and you unfold those, because they're folded up in the box, till you get to the right angle. Then you snap them into the base, and you put a couple of Phillips heads in to keep them snapped into the base. You also have those wing nuts down there, as you see in the corners. By wing nuts, what I'm describing is, see those two things right there? They are basically these guys. You can see they're threaded on the bottom and you spin them in. That's all that's holding, one more right there. That's all that's holding the corners to the base. That's it. Now, what you got here is once you put those up, right? So that's in this, once again, a uh, couple of Phillips heads from the base into that at an angle, right? This main beam here. And then this is corrugated plastic, right? It's a corrugated plastic sheet that slides into rails on this and that. And you got one there, one there, that with the windows, a corrugated sheet, right? Two on the back. Um, by corrugated, I mean, this is what the plastic looks like. It's plastic, corrugation, and plastic. That's all there is. This, this is less than a quarter inch thick. I mean, you could wind up a punch and go right through this. So at this point, you got the corner, corrugated sheet, this is your centerpiece, corrugated sheet. Next, you put a top piece on it. And once again, attach it to these corners with these guys, right? Three of them. The end of this, you slide the roof panels in. You fold these up, right? This piece slides on. The ends fold up. And it's built. Sounds simple, huh? Once again, there's nothing like here. So after building this thing, I thought to myself, the possibility of it surviving the winter is somewhere around zero. Went up fairly easily, but once again, I'm thinking to myself, this thing is never going to hold up. So in comes the wood framing. All around the bottom, and you can see that pressure treated 2x4. I just went around the bottom and um, used... Um, decking uh, screws, right? And attached the bottom rail to the platform. And then if you take a look, I put these, this is five quarter um, decking that I ripped, 
right? And I reinforce the ends. And uh, uprights, obviously, you can see how I attach the two by fours. And once again, and attach those to the flooring, right? So all of this is, is really solid, right? I basically built a frame inside the shed. On the outside, once again, if you picture the, the decking ripped there, the, well, I missed <laughs> the, the uh, Phillips heads that attach it, right, real solid. So these aren't able to move. Everything's holding it rigid. Plus, remember, I got the um, workbench in here, the potting table. And the potting table ties this to this, right? There's a couple of um, Phillips heads that go in this way into this and it completely reinforces it right the corner up there right um, put those across so that you couldn't drive through that easily I deliberately did not put this corner in yet because I wanted you to see how these are supposed to snap together unfortunately from sitting around whether it sits in a warehouse or sits in your driveway some of the plastic has a tendency to warp. And for this shed to work, for this shed to have its best structural integrity, you really need every fastener to go into place completely perfectly. Now I mentioned the platform. This wooden platform was recycled from the old shed. I made sure it was cut to size and I redecked it. Um, the redecking helps hold everything in place, but to size means that the plastic is a little smaller, or is a little bigger, right? Slightly bigger than it is, so that water doesn't get and rot the plywood out, doesn't get in there and rot the plywood out. You could see once again, two by four going by, the two Phillips heads, the uprights hooked into the table and so forth. So everything is tied together, even in the back here, right? For the uprights, you can see how they're all tied in nice and tight. It really made the shed much stronger. As I was building it, I was just thinking, you know, this is sitting back here and just picture the wind ee, 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 until finally it rounded out the holes that the Phillips heads went into big enough where they popped out and the whole thing collapsed. Also picture six, eight inches of heavy snow on it as the wind is buffering it. I just thought it would never stand up. So what should have been a quick job turned into a much longer job. This is my plastic shed nightmare. If you do buy a plastic shed, I recommend getting thicker panels and having them all bolt together uprights. That would work a lot better. But in the meantime, I want to thank all you guys for watching this video. Please remember to keep your feet down, your heads up, and stay away from plastic shed nightmares. Some are better, some are worse. Look at them before you buy them. Don't just buy them over the mail and expect a great shed to show up at your house. It might not be quite what you expect. Once again, feet down, heads up, get out and enjoy each and every day. Bye now.